Hey everyone, it's Brian here. I hope you're all doing great. Today, I'll be reviewing episode 37 of Pokemon Journeys, and that is, I'm back. Nice to meet you, Alola. And yeah, all I can say is this episode was just so good and probably the best episode in the series. But with all that said, let's jump in to today's review. Alrighty guys, the episode starts off with Yampa finding a leaf stone and gives it to Go. He then sees his execute and gives him the stone, evolving them into Exeggutor. Ash then says that in Alola, there's a Lolan Exeggutor, which are really tall. Both the boys tell Professor Cerise they're off to Alola to find one and head off. They then arrive in Alola while Kukui is waiting for them in a car. Ash is excited and spots him and runs to greet him. Kukui then asks Ash how Help Go and Reboot by fishing up Go. Go thanks Lana for saving him. He tells her that he's Go and then Lana shouts, wait, you're Ash's friend? Back in the forest, we see Team Rocket's old Pokemon. And yeah, this is just so good and I'm so happy that the actual producers added this in. It's so nice to see them all living their life together. Sadly, Marini is sad due to the fact that James is gone. So hopefully the Rockets will return next time we come to Alola. We then see Ash, who was still looking for Go, and then Rotom Dex arrives. And yeah, this is still pretty out of the blue for me, but I was just so happy to see this reunion. Ash was just so happy to see Rotom Dex come back. And yeah, he tells Ash that everyone's still waiting at the Pokemon school for him, including Go. At the Pokemon school, we see Mallow, Lana, and Sophocles, who are speaking to Go, asking him loads of questions, which Go is really nervous about answering. Then, the man himself, Kiawe, arrives and introduces himself to Go, telling him that he's Ash's rival, and he asks Go who's the strongest between him and Ash. Go says he battles Ash every now and again, which Kiawe was really shocked to hear, and it was so funny to see the old Alola expressions come back. I just love to see this. Kiawe tells Go he's looking forward to see how well Go's trained his Pokemon, but then the tension is broken off by our boy Ash finally arriving at the school. Everyone welcomes Ash back and yeah this was just such an amazing moment just to see the Alola gang finally come back. Sadly no Lily yet but hopefully she'll return later as well. But yeah this is just such a wholesome moment as I just love to see um, Ash's Alola friends come back. Now that everyone had arrived it was time for Ash's welcome back party where everyone was eating and drinking together. Even all of Ash's new and old Pokemon were there, which was great to see as they didn't actually have to do this. 
Lana tells everyone that she received a letter from Lily today. Go ask who is she and everyone tells her that she's one of the friends from the school and she's on a journey with her family to find her dad. We then see kind of a flashback of Lily and Gladion talking about how their mum said they're really close to finding their father Mon now and that they'll return to Alola once finding him. Which is just amazing that they're actually carrying on this storyline throughout this series and it was so good to see Lily and Gladion, they're such amazing characters. This motivates Ash and he challenges Kiara to a battle. He would love to but he says no and he wants the battle go instead which Go is really surprised by. Kiawe says he wants to see if Go is worthy of being Ash's rival and able to help Ash complete his dreams which I love. Everyone then tries to tell Kiawe to calm down but Go accepts his challenge as he wants to protect his own pride as well which I thought this was just so cool and Go's character is just getting better and better. I just love it. We skip to the battle which has already started and it's going pretty well with Rebute being able to dodge Terminator's moves and hit as well with its speed which Kiawe notices and congrats Go on but Kiawe tells Go he's going to use his Z move to show off his full power and yeah we all know that Go can't defeat this but Kiawe says to Go if he wants to run he might as well do it now but Go says he won't ever Kiawe then says that's what he expects from a rival of Ash, which triggers Go as he says he's not a rival of Ash and he has no intent to help Ash reach his dreams. He has his own power and he wants to use it to complete his own dreams and that's how Ash feels as well. And he's Ash's research companion and his friend. He then tells Kiawe to do a Z move. Kiawe then nods at Marok and then does Inferno Overdrive which was just so cool and it looked exactly like Sun and Moon. Go then tells Rebute to put all their power into this one attack. So it was a battle between Ember and Inferno Overdrive. We all know that Kiawe would win but it was still cool to see Go not backing down and try clash with all of his power. Ember fails and right before impact everyone else is scared except for Ap. Then Marak saves them. After the move, Go is shocked by how he got there. He finds out he was saved and Ash explains that this was Kiawe's plan from the start which was so cool as you can really see how much Ash trusts Kiawe. Go is pretty annoyed that he lost to Kiawe but Kiawe says look after Ash for him which Go changes and agrees to do that. Both of them laugh which was so good as now Go and Kiawe have a great friendship as well. Kiawe Ask Go what his dream and he tells everyone he wants to catch every Pokemon and work his way up to Mu, which everyone was amazed by and it made Go embarrassed but it was so nice to see this scene. We then see Go battling an Alolan executor on Treasure Island and everyone cheers him on which was really cool to see. Then Go manages to catch it which was awesome. Lastly we go back to the research park. Go shows off his new Pokemon and then asks Ash if they could go to Alola again sometime and Ash says definitely that's a promise. So yeah guys that's an episode as a whole. Now I want to say my thoughts on this. So yeah I think this episode was brilliantly done. I think it was probably one of my favourites or if not favourite episode of the series as a whole. It was just so nicely done. I enjoyed that this episode was done in Alola and they did it so right with Kukui and Burnett's child Lei. Ash is a Lolan winning team coming back which I love so much and even Go meeting the Lolan gang and even Go got some brilliant development with battling Kiawe as now he stood up for himself and knows what goal he really wants to do. But yeah if I have to give this episode a rating out of 10 it will be a 10 out of 10 as I enjoyed it so much. But yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please comment your thoughts did you enjoy this episode? or you didn't. I think this was a really nicely done episode but yeah I'll try to reply to every single one of them as I'd love to speak to you all. So like always please give this video a like and subscribe for more Pokemon anime content. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me so thank you. But with all that said stay blessed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya guys. You